Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. So if you're watching my lifestyle channel, hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Um, hi, if you're new here to my channel, please subscribe and give us a, a thumbs up. A big thank you for doing so. Today I'm going to be doing the last video on Rochester, uh, which is um, the historic Rochester and more, part two. So let's jump right into it. I'm really excited to show you what there is to do. There's a couple, uh, there's lots of pubs and eating places and like cocktail bars um, in Rochester. Um, but going up this way, starting off um, with Rochester Castle it also has a folk and dance music festival Rochester festival There's also King's Head Car Park, disabled badge holders only, though, for that car park. Then, welcome to Rochester Castle. There's a gift shop, audio tour, bilingual interpretations. D disabled for grounds only then entry and grounds and keep school groups welcome extensive grounds panoramic views and it looks absolutely gorgeous again it's obviously not a fully restored castle but it's the ruin of a castle and this is uh, Bowler Hill again Medway Heritage Dickens in this in his biography Charles Dickens published in 1874 John Foster and Dickens was buried at uh, Westminster Abbey and um, that car park is uh, restricted zone at any time the city of Rochester Then over here we've got the Vines Park. And um, no parking. And you can actually go into Rochester Cathedral and those are the services it looks absolutely wonderful again the city of Rochester there are all the great yards the city of Rochester Catal Catapartry it's over 100 years old wow it looks absolutely amazing and then we have a church
St Nicholas Church, the deceased of Rochester. And then Rochester Cathedral, St Andrew's House. I'll just go down here. Again, this is no parking area. I've got some floodlights, it looks like. Again, you have to have a permit holder, holder to park here. North door entrance, admission is free. But there's a Rochester Cathedral a guided tour, 2pm today, £5.50 per person. There's also a cafe in the crypt. And you can donate. Um, when I come to Rochester again, um, I would actually like to go um, inside um, these museums and uh, castles. Um, I have been inside the Ed Educational Centre, which um, had a library um, in it and computers. And toilets as well and they'd run all sorts of courses in the actual education that I, I sent to that I talked about in an earlier video now this is at Bowley Hill some nice teas and litter bins and barrels Again, Costa Coffee. There's the Guildhall Museum that way, which I'm, I'm going to go up this way now. Again, some more pubs. Tourist Information Centre. Rochester Bridge. And the Guild Hall, Hall Museum this way. Some more shops. And craft beer. There's absolutely lots of eating places also to choose from. Pizza Express, um, again, is coming up. Food and wine. Oxfam Furniture and Box. Lots of charity shops. Another bridal shop, another box, uh, box shop. Thousands of England's largest second hand bo uh, box shop. Thousands of second hand box. Vintage shop, clothes shop. And this is the Guild Hall Museum. Oh, wow. Gosh, look, look at this, a golden post box from Royal Mail. I've never seen a, a golden post box before. Wow, that looks amazing. 
The Geldorf Museum's open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Last admission 4.30, adults five pound, children one pound. Sometimes the museum's open on bank holiday. That's Ladies Lounge, Locks Lounge, Pedro of Rochester. Aquajan. Um again Rochester bit a bridge and Dolph. There it is. It looks absolutely amazing. And the Royal Crown Pub. Um, around here we've also got some seats and litter bins. More cafes. A red telephone box. Um, a there's also um, a bus a bus stop there. I'm going to show you the other museum that's. Um, and tourist information um, all in one um, it's coming up soon Again, this part of the town is um, pretty flat and I just need, it need to go up a hill to the, bu uh, the bus stop. There's a, it's nice to see that uh, the town has a clock. There's a tapas bar and restaurant. Again, there's a wide range of foods. Um, and bars and um, to tie out um, whatever your budget. Now this way, Eastgate House, Library, Cathedral, Castle, which is that way, and Taurus Information, Rochester Art Gallery, and Six Poor Travellers House. And down that way is the Corn Exchange, Toilets, and Railway Station. So I feel that um, this town has got very good transport options which you can get by car, bus and taxi.
and um, you can also get to this place and other places by train. Um, I feel again that the, the town is beautifully painted up. Again, Rochester Cathedral again. Now this is the visitor centre coming up and art gallery. Medway tourist information as well. So I'll pop into here and it, it's also got the Hung, Hunguginot Museum. Tuesdays to Saturdays 10am to 5pm and during some special events. Wheelchair access, no smoking. Um, the Visitor Information Centre is all oh, right. All oh, right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> a, a lady's just told me that the visitor um, information centre is closed now. It's just the um, the Hung Hung Yinot Museum. Um, there's a free ATM here if you need to get any cash out, antiques and jewellery. Moving on. Then there's Austin's um, of Rochester. Award-winning farm shop over there. and Francis L's Gallery. The French Hospital Alarm House. Again, store 104, box and yarns and coffee. Award winning massage spa, Wells. And that's a, a yoga studio. So I would like to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and um, I'll see you uh, tomorrow um, for another video of Leeds Castle and um, Canterbury. So please keep watching and have a good day and night wherever you are. Thank you. Bye.